Well, good evening and greetings, YouTube. Crosstrain here, and again, I'm coming to you from Frozen Synapse. And uh, I'm playing this game again tonight and just uh, really enjoying it. What a cool little game this is, and uh, so simple. So simple yet uh, so cool in, in, in the control you have in this thing. So wanted to bring you one little mission, just a quick little piece here tonight. Uh, show you some of the cool features about uh, the game. Once you've uh, beat or lost, for that matter, I guess you could do it. You can do it after every every mission. But you can go back and you can watch the whole mission again. Um, uh, one turn at a time. So let me uh, set this up a little bit. Uh, so in this mission right here... Um, I control the green guys, if you uh, uh, rem recall from my intro video. Uh, the yellow guys are called Panarchs, and they are AI controlled. They're not very good, actually, but um, and actually they, they do better than normal in this particular mission we have. So, so uh, we're starting in this, uh, this is a power plant of some sort, and we have eight turns to kill Bradshaw, this guy who's a uh, enemy AI who's working on restoring some security in this power plant. So uh, we have eight turns to eliminate him. As you can see, he's got some company and security around him. Um, and uh, this level for me introduced, I don't know, this is the fifth or sixth, seventh level, something like that uh, in the game, in the campaign. And this introduced something new for me. Um, We've seen the shotgun guys before, okay, we've seen them. We've seen the submachine gun guys before, uh, yep, we've seen them. But what we haven't seen until this, and you'll certainly see their effect in this mission, is these guys who are RPG or bazooka guys. Um, and they, yes, they fire indoors and uh, they wreak some havoc. So uh, you get to see what this is about. So. Um, this was actually my second run through. The first run through, I got wasted uh, about eight guys in about three turns. Uh, the rocket launches really kind of threw me off. And then, so what I realized in that first time through is uh, instead of trying to take cover from the rocket launchers, basically I'm going to charge uh, right into the enemy. So. My basic tactic here, since I had so much of my forces up here, uh, four of my guys that I controlled as well as two of the Panarchs, uh, I decided to try to gain access to around this. This is a half wall right here, I think. Maybe not. Maybe it's a full wall. Um, no, that's a full wall. Um, but So this is, they can't see through this, okay? Uh, but you'll see the rocket launchers take care of that in the first turn or so. But uh, at any rate, I decide to escape this circle here because what I learned in my first uh, run through is that their rocket launchers will fire into this and when they explode these walls it's a pretty good size radius uh, so I lost several of my guys to that so I decided to, to escape with these two guys that are inside you'll see them run out of here the very first try to gain this wall over here these guys I'm circling around to the north with the purpose of trying to gain uh, the side and actually I want to take this rifleman and bring him up here uh, and, and have him looking across here just to give me some cover so basically most of my action is going to be happening up here I decide I want to try to flank Bradshaw by taking out this force up here so I gotta figure out how to do that um, the shotgun guy is the only guy I control down here so I decide I'm gonna bring him down in this general area and uh, and I end up holding him a little bit here. He gets a couple of uh, he kills a couple of these guys ultimately uh, at the end of the day. But um, but again, this just kind of uh, I want to show you this just to show you the kind of control you have in uh, the strategic realm, the tactical realm of uh, Frozen Synapse. So I'm going to run through my first turn here, and I'll stop and point out a couple of cool things. But uh, again, each turn is about I don't know 10 or 15 seconds. Uh, so let me go ahead and show you where we go again advance the enemy up here uh, and then just move these guys down into here again I have no idea what these yellow guys are going to do so let's check it out here's turn number one so as you can see those rocket launchers have now opened a nice hole here um, this rocket launcher fired in through the door 
hit this back wall as you can see a nice explosion there so anything inside of that that radius gets just gets annihilated so um, so again we wanted to escape that I was able to get both of my guys out um, out of the the uh, <laughs> this room which was fortunate uh, and up against what is still a wall here. This guy actually brought up here and as you can see by this icon I got him ducking behind this desk and aiming in this direction. Uh, again he's the guy that I'm using for cover. Um, I forgot I was I took this rifleman this semi uh, machine gun and decided to bring him up the middle. Um, so again I'm gonna flank with my shotgun and one rifleman around this side uh, and you can see nothing really happened on these this guy decided to come here. Shotgun is coming up here. So let's see what happens in turn two then. Here we go. Hostile neutralized. Hostile neutralized. Okay, you heard a couple of hostiles neutralized. So let's see what happened. Uh, one of those hostiles neutralized is right here. Um, looks like their rocket launcher. I believe he was probably taken out by one of these guys down here. Um, and uh, and then the second hostile that was neutralized was uh, let's see, not sure where the second one was. I heard two hostile neutralized. Uh, maybe somebody else is about to go down. But so you can see right now where things are starting to heat up in turn number three. Uh, Again, right now, I've got this guy in the doorways just to cover there and here, just in case this shotgun guy um, decides to, to advance to one of those. The thing about this is if I stay still and put him here and I don't give him a specific aim point, then he will fire and engage an enemy as soon as he sees him. So if I'm having him aim at this doorway, then he will aim at that doorway. If this enemy comes here, then he'll get the drop on him. So in this case, what I did is I set the aim to free aim, just engage the enemy where you, wherever you see him. Um, so that way he can take, he can cover either door. And, and since he's going to be still, uh, he gets the drop on him. Uh, still just going to bring this guy until I can equalize over here. I want this guy just hiding behind here, basically. And again, I'm going to uh, move uh, these guys around this next turn. You're going to see my goal was to take the shotgunner down with my rifleman. So I bring him around here and then I have him aiming this direction and stepping out away from the wall and having my shotgun want to come in here and I'm gonna have him clear this room as well so let's see what happens in turn number three okay so in turn number three my rifleman did in fact come around the corner slide out and as he did this shotgun was coming up to the wall and he took him down with a his first shot. Uh, you can see this <laughs> This guy all of a sudden knew there was a presence over here so he turns just to shoot out the wall. Of course fortunately we've already moved on and the bad news for him is I've got a shotgun coming right in on him. His two compatriots here are down and this shotgunner is coming right in on him. Additionally he's got both a rocket launcher guy and another submachine guy uh, that can see him so and oh and another um, rifleman or machine gunner here so he's in pretty tough shape right now uh, still nothing down here although this again my guy is here uh, and, and he's got potential in this next move of both his uh, machine gunner coming over as well as a shotgun coming over so in the meantime this uh, Panark is looking to flank around this edge. So um, remember, we got eight turns to get this done, and so let's check out turn number four. What happens? Okay, now this is very interesting. So you saw what happened here. Uh, the shotgunner, in fact, this guy moved into the doorway, and this shotgun is deadly. So it took this guy out. The shotgun is still behind the wall. Um, the shotgun, and, as I said in my last video, is absolutely deadly, so this guy didn't stand a chance. Uh, but he's the first one down over on this side. Uh, I have now somebody, and I don't remember who it was, either my shotgun or somebody else, took out the, 
uh, rocket launcher here. So their forces in the north here are now completely gone. And I didn't lose a single guy doing that. That's, you know, for me, that's pretty crazy. Uh, so I was pretty excited about that. Here's where it got interesting in this. I've got these two guys sitting right here um, and ready to move in on Bradshaw. Uh, in my next couple of turns, I'm going to move this guy down to come to this door. I want the shotgun coming down. Uh, as well, I'm going to bring this guy all the way around here. He's going to, eventually I'm going to try to get him in this door. This guy's going to come down to here. But I've got a very interesting proposition now. Um, as you can see at the end of turn number four, the rocket launcher, ours, the Panarch, has fired a rocket. And it is halfway to make contact with this wall directly behind my two guys. If I don't do something, and I'm not even sure when I see this happening, if I can do something. Um, because when you're playing, you can actually, if I want to, without I can see what will happen if I make zero moves. Um, and so you can hit the play button, and what happens is you see what, what would happen if you don't move at all. And what happens when I tried that in the game is this comes in, hits this wall, explodes, it kills both of these guys. That's not good. It takes out two of my guys, so I have to figure out how the heck to get out of here. So what I end up doing, and you'll see this happen here, is I took both of these guys off. Uh, the default, if you recall my last video, the default is that these guys will engage on site. They move a little slower when you do that, um, but the danger to not having them engage on site is um, that if an enemy sees them, the enemy will engage them on site, and if these guys are in... Uh, continue on site then uh, they're gonna get killed so but I really have no choice at this point so I put both of these guys on continue on site um, and, which and run <laughs> and I have this guy ordered to come down to this window basically just sprint straight this way this guy I've got very few options I tried both getting them around the corner and running I tried getting him into this room and running neither one of them worked he still got killed by the blast radius that's coming so I ended up taking him and doing a continue on site all the way back here. There's very little danger of them getting shot by an enemy in, the, in, in that regard because there's really no enemies. All the enemies that are left are down in here. Uh, so they had some cover from them. So I had to boogie these guys out of here. In the meantime, uh, the rest of these guys I've got, um, since I had this rifleman here, I decided to take my sh shotgunner here and I'm going to aim at this window. Uh, you can't see it in the video here, but you, I'm going to aim at this window into great effect as it turns out. So, anyways, this is interesting. Yeah, you can keep an eye on that and see what happens. And uh, let's see what happens in turn number five. Neutralized. So you see what happened is this this rocket came and wiped this out. You can see it took out some of this wall too. Fortunately, both guys, this guy cleared to here, this guy cleared to here, so I didn't lose either one of them. Now, Bradshaw's in some big trouble. My shotgunner did kill this guy through the window, and it's now just a matter of the singing. Now these we're just closing in from all sides. So I've got all my forces um, moving in. So let's see what happens in turn number six. Hostile neutralized. Hostile neutralized. Oh, Bradshaw's in trouble now. The Panarch here killed the first security guy here in the room. My shotgunner came out of this door, came around here, and, and took the second guy out here. And now it's just Bradshaw. I have no idea if Bradshaw is armed. Um, uh, but I do know that he is currently in the sights of this guy. He's currently in the sights of this guy, and as you can see when I roll the tape, both of these guys are getting ready to um, move in through the open door as well, just in case. So, turn number seven, final turn. Uh, let's see how it turns out. Hostile neutralized. That's all she wrote for Bradshaw. So, uh, what a cool little uh, deal. I really, really um, enjoyed this, and I... I lost one guy with just one Panarch, and that was all. Uh, so I was really excited about that. Let me show you one of the other cool features about this. Uh, when the game's over, I can take this, and I can export this um, video directly to YouTube, or I can watch the full replay with no 
pauses. So let's see what this thing looks like um, without me stopping and clicking each one or talking. I'm just going to let the full replay play. So let's check it out. So, <laughs> I think that's a really cool feature. You can watch the whole mission afterwards with no interruptions. Um, it does, the, the game automatically focuses in on the action, as you can just see. I didn't touch anything. I hit go and, and it was done, so... Folks, this is Frozen Synapse, a really, really, really cool uh, turn-based strategy game. Um, again, I got this on a real cheap. It's a couple years old, um, and, you know, it's a top-down little thing. It's not uh, anything that's absolutely gorgeous, but um, cool, relaxing kind of music, but fun, strategic, and tactical thinking. So... Um, I highly recommend it. It is a, it's a cool little game, and um, and I love these little features. So I wanted to share that with you guys tonight. And uh, as always, this is Cross Train from Frozen Synapse with mission number I don't know five or six or something like that. And until next time, peace.